Hello everyone! Welcome to tech to tinker My name is George, and in this video, we will talk about the servo motor with ESP32 using MicroPython. What I have here is an MG90S servo motor included in Gorilla Cell ESP32 development kit. It has three wires which are brown wire for the ground pin, red wire for the servo motor supply voltage, and orange wire for the servo motor control signal pin. For this experiment, you will need an ESP32 development board, a Gorilla Cell ESP32 shield, and of course, the servo motor itself. In using the Gorilla Cell ESP32 shield, Attach the servo motors as follows. Brown wire to the black pin headers. Red wire to the red pin headers. And orange wire to the yellow pin headers. For this lesson, I choose GPIO25 as the signal pin for the servo motor because it has 5 volts supply voltage. As a disclaimer, it is always recommended to use an external power supply when interfacing any motors to a microcontroller. Now for the software part, I prepared here a source code for controlling a servo motor. I also added a simple utility class named Gorilla Cell Servo Class, which has a single parameter named Signal Pin which is the signal pin for controlling the servo motor, which in our case, it's connected to GPIO25. Searching the internet, I found this timing diagram for MG90S servo motor on components101.com, which is I opened on another page to remove the other distraction. Basically, a servo motor rotation is controlled by applying a PWM signal on its signal pin, which has a frequency of 50 Hz or a pulse every 20 milliseconds period. So this is 20 milliseconds. There should be a pulse with a duty cycle of 1 milliseconds to 2 milliseconds. Now, depending on how long the pulse stays on logic high state in every pulse, will result to a specific angle. According to this timing diagram, every PWM pulse should stay on logic high state for 1 millisecond to 2 milliseconds, or in PWM duty value of 50 to 100. But these values are of course subject to offset. Hence, it is necessary to calibrate. To do that, you simply need to experiment on different PWM duty values until you hit a desired angle, which is from 0 degrees to 180 degrees, by which I arrived to a PWM duty values of 23 or 0 degree up to 124 duty values for 180 degrees. Now, in order to command the servo motor in degree angles, I provided the rotate method which has a single parameter named angle. The angle which can have a value of 0 to 180 degrees is converted by ratio and proportion to PWM duty value by which we can have a value from 23 to 124. Ratio and proportion conversion is done by calling the map function, which basically converts the value from 0 to 180 degrees to 23 to 124 by ratio and proportion, which is written as the PWM duty value. Now, let me click the run button for the demonstration. Now, I provided here some examples for your experiment. So, let us copy this first example. This is used 
to rotate the servo motor to 0 degrees. So let me paste it in the REPL and hit enter. Of course, nothing will happen because currently the angle is on 0 degrees. Let us go to 90 degrees and hit enter. Now, let us go back to 0 degrees and I will hit enter. Or we can go to 180 degrees such as that. Or we can rotate the servo from 0 to 180 degrees by 10 degrees increment. So let me copy this one and comment first and copy. And I will paste it in the repo. And I will hit enter once more, which will rotate the servo motor in 10 degrees increment. And now it's in 180 degrees. Or we can still use the command, but this time we will begin from 180 going to 0 so this is negative 1 and the increment is minus 10 and I will hit enter once more 180 then it goes to 0 degrees or if you want you can make a loop Let's say while true, then put the for loop. This will increment from 0 to 180. Then after that, we will decrement back to 0. And we begin from... 180 down to 0 in and decrement by 10. Let me hit enter twice and it should loop forever when it when it hit the 180s it goes back to 0. Then it goes back again to 180 degrees. Just like that. So that's pretty much of it. I hope you learned something from this. As always, the source code that is in here including other information can be found in the companion blog post for this video at techtotinker.blogspot.com Links in the video description If you have any question, please write your message in the comment box provided If you enjoyed this video, please do like and share so that it can reach more people who might benefit from this Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. Thank you and see you next time. God bless.